An earthquake rocks Inyo County, sending shockwaves through Bakersfield. And tonight, geologists are explaining why an earthquake three hours away was felt right here in town. 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo joins us now live from Cal State Bakersfield with what experts say we could expect in the coming days. Jim, Jackie, Water. the earthquake happened just after 3 o'clock this afternoon and was felt all over Kern County. And although it happened three hours away, geologists say that's not far for seismic waves to travel. Oh, did we just have an earthquake? We felt kind of swaying back and forth, maybe a little bit, or felt out of balance. That was the question from many this afternoon, after feeling the effects of a 4.8 earthquake that hit near Big Pine, California. This is video from the earthquake cam at our sister station, KABC in Los Angeles, when the quake registered on the seismograph, the epicenter about three hours northeast of Bakersfield. Three hours by car, but it was only about 130 miles or so uh, from where the earthquake occurred. And seismic waves can travel very fast through rock. And so it basically just traveled through the Earth's crust uh, towards Bakersfield. Just moments after the earthquake, our 23 ABC social media pages were flooded with viewer comments. One person said they felt it in southwest Bakersfield. Others said they felt a jolt and saw the walls slowly moving. Students also felt it at CSUB. Uh, a lot of people that I talked to felt that their equilibrium was gone maybe a little bit. They didn't necessarily feel too much shaking. Um, and as you get further away from the earthquake, that's what you tend to feel. After the 4.8 earthquake, there were several aftershocks, including a 4.3. Crew says this is normal when there's a quake with a large magnitude. Basically, once the rock moves, it has to readjust. And so those are what you see happening in terms of the, the aftershocks occurring. And geologists say there's no way of knowing if or when another will hit. I wouldn't expect to, to really see anything happening uh, in, the, in the next few days. It's pretty unpredictable when they're going to occur. <laughs> The Inyo County Sheriff says they haven't received any reports of damages or injuries, and the last aftershock was felt at 3.30 this afternoon. Reporting live from Cal State Bakersfield, Laura Acevedo, 23ABC News.